Hey everyone, it's Imran from Options Insight, your macro options spotlight for today. Remember, like, subscribe, comment, ask questions, do whatever you like, but we want to get the algorithm passing this around so people can learn about options and learn this information. Um, so obviously stocks were weaker again yesterday. Um, indications that the labor market, tightness, Fed speakers, all pushing terminal rates a bit higher. Markets generally don't like that. So the tech sector getting hit the worst there. Uh, we obviously got non-farm payrolls today, and that's either going to confirm or allay these fears that the tightness of the jobs market is going to keep the Fed, you know, really going for it and maybe increase that probability of a 50 basis point hike uh, in their February meeting. Uh, once again, Europe and uh, Asia are outperforming in terms of stocks. Uh, we did see City upgrade their outlook for Europe, saying that European stocks to outperform US stocks this year, uh, or certainly at the start of the year. Uh, and then commodities were a bit mixed yesterday. Precious metals finally giving some back after the, the good performance uh, since the beginning of the year. Um, Nat gas getting absolutely hammered down another 10% on the day, uh, but down to a bit of a support level down here at three and a half dollars now. So we'll see if that has any kind of reaction. Uh, but Nat gas right now struggling for sure. Uh, and then finally, copper catching a bid up 2% uh, as China come in supporting these property developers and kind of maybe potentially easing policy against some of these guys. Uh, vol wise, um, nothing too interesting to mention there. Um, uh, European and Asian vols softer, whilst US vols were, were well supported. And we can see here the carry is positive in US, and that's because the realized vol has been relatively muted in US indices where they're stuck in a bit of a range right now, whereas the other markets have actually been managing to uh, deliver some half decent moves. Um, in terms of today, though, the SP implied move is around 1.45% for non farms, which I do think looks slightly low. Uh, versus what could happen if we break below that 3,800 level uh, and the fact that the market cares so much about these, this jobs data right now, we could see a reaction in rates and we could see a, a much bigger move, maybe going down towards testing that 3,700 area if we were to get a really strong print out of non-farms. Okay, moving on. Um, if we look at uh, the rate stuff and what's happening in the curve, we have been seeing curve flattening. So we talked about this in a couple of daily notes ago where the shape of the curve was really going to matter this year and which way is it likely to go. Um, so, so far this week, all of the labor market data, jolts, ADP, initial jobless claims, all point to a tight jobs market. And that's pushed the expectations for the Fed staying higher for longer. Right? We also had Bullard on the tape saying similar things. So terminal Fed funds rates have moved up by about eight basis points um, over the last weeks. You see here, they moved up to around 5.04, peaking in July this year. Um, now. We have it's, our, it's been our belief that hawkish data is going to continue to flatten the curve. Um, so whilst we did see a re-steepening of the curve to around, you know, just inside 50 basis points inverted, it's quickly moved back the other way and it's back to 75 basis points negative. And the cycle high was around 83 basis points negative. So I would not be surprised if we continue to see, you know, a tight labor market, uh, wage growth coming through and inflation or the core measure of services ex shelter that they care about. If that doesn't roll over fast, then we may well see uh, this thing go to minus 100 or even further. It's very possible. That's the kind of that's the kind of levels that we saw back in the late 70s, early 80s. I don't see why that's not possible again. And then the last thing to note is that the um, probability of a 50 basis point hike right now is being priced at 42 percent. Um, that has that has drifted higher over the course of this week. Uh, and we'll see if that after non-farms gets even more close to 50-50 or even flips the other way. And that will probably be not met with a, a very uh, friendly market, I would say. OK, um, moving on. All right. Thanks for listening, guys. And hopefully I'll catch you guys on the um, Options Insight live call. Take care.